Vineyard Frag family, welcome to Solomon's Vineyard. I am your brother and friend, Mr. Russell Mack. And listen, I'm glad you're taking out time to watch this video and this preview. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a fragrance from the House of English Laundry. And I dare not call them a cheapy house, uh, but you can find their fragrances relatively cheap. Um, if you check your local rack stores, um, you can find a bunch of them, but a lot of them you can find online. But online, uh, the fragrance I'm going to talk about today is running like 50 something dollars, guys. And it came out in 2013, the release I'm talking about. So, listen, we'll get into that in more in a minute. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. Go on and hit that subscription button right there at the bottom there. Hit the bell icon right below it for all fragrance content from this channel. A notification feed, uh, notica notification will come directly to your feed, letting you know Russell Mack is on the air. Hey, analytics dictate that we need likes, guys. We need your likes, your thumbs up. Any way you can get it over here, I, I would be grateful if you will. Uh, do that for your boy, won't you? Plus, share it and you can comment in the thread below. Your scent of the day would be greatly appreciated if you tell me what you're rocking. You guys give me a lot of great fragrances. Some of them I've heard of, some of them I haven't, some of them I have myself. So I love when you comment your scent of the day, if you would, okay? So if you don't, I understand. Now, today, we're talking about a house that came out, uh, I think the first fragrance was 2010, I believe. And the fragrance I'm talking about today came out in 2013. Um, it's English Laundry, and there's a lot of fragrances from English Laundry that I have uh, acquired since I've gotten into the house a couple of years ago. Uh, one of the ones that I really love to rock, guys, is Notting Hill. Look at that bottle. Pretty gold bottle. There's London that has kind of an Aventus vibe. Uh, some say it doesn't, but I say it do. Smell it for yourself, you will see what I mean. Also, what's this here? Signature, Riviera. So I have quite a bit, all right? I have also uh, Oxford Blue, okay? I have Arrogant, which smells a lot like Signature. So guys, get into this house. I'm telling you, you better start, if I was you guys, start smelling the fragrances for yourself. Don't just take our word, guys. I'm not being, uh, I'm not trying to talk about nobody. I'm just saying a lot of the fragrances that you guys sometimes sleep on and, uh, and you don't purchase because of a YouTuber. He didn't like it or she didn't like it. And now you have, you know, slept on a fragrance that potentially could be your signature fragrance. Signature fragrance. Very good fragrance. And I dare not call this a cheapy house. Great house that we're looking at today. And this is 2013 release called uh, Tahitian Water. Tahitian Water. I don't know if any of you have smelled this one. But God dog. This is one that I think you should get because for this time of the year, the summer seasons, the summer months, the heat, guys, uh, some of us uh, will we'll be going to the beach. Some of you will be going on vacation. Some of you may be hanging out by the pool to barbecues or cookout. You know, uh, the corona is uh, the, the, the restrictions are being lifted. The masks are coming off. And today is this is my scent of the day. And I have gotten a lot of attention, a lot of compliments, guys. The CR is incredible. Tahitian Waters. Man, listen, this thing is bad. Now, I'm already uh, rocking this fragrance, but I'm going to spray some for you anyway. And I love the presentation. Man, each laundry has some of the best presentation. Uh, presentations out of any perfume houses I've seen. Now, I don't have any boxes right now, but look at this bottle. Blinged out, chromed out, the tops are heavy, the, the, it fits very tight. Look at the bottle, man. Christopher Wicks is the nose. Now, the olfactory profile to this is a fruity, floral gourmand. Don't let that scare you or fool you. Uh, it works, trust me. This is a compliment beast. Uh, and it performs very good. I absolutely love it when the wind blow, guys. The air gets up under this fragrance and spread this around. The scent cloud and bubble and sea arch is incredible. 
let's put the notes up to Leah put the notes up there for you this thing opens up with lime coconut listen at that with a uh, mandarin orange bergamot guys you got jasmine you lang lang in the heart and then you have brown sugar and cedar that's all this fragrance contains uh, it has an uh even a, a, a it has kind of an aquatic feel to it it has that e exotic uh uh, feel to it uh, so the, the opening guys you get that lime note with some citrus the coconut and bergamot but listen you're mainly getting that beautiful coconut now this is not a suntan lotion coconut it's not the coconut you'd find in uh, um, Creed's Virgin Island water nothing like that it's not a cheap generic smelling coconut but it's actually a beautiful coconut with lime and orange and bergamot the bergamot gives it a really nice freshness and then it goes into the heart which is the jasmine and the ylang ylang. Now ylang ylang is a note we normally hear in women's fragrances but to this fragrance it's a great addition that gives this fragrance some body depth and, and some complexity. Of course you're going to have some syntheticness but what fragrance don't now that we smell right? What fragrance we, we don't smell now with, with uh, synthetic notes? Come on now. Uh, but don't let that detour you. Don't let that be a reason for you not getting your hand on this beautiful fragrance. Now, this is not a fragrance that super masculine. I would say that anybody could rock this. If you 21 and up, you can pull this off. This fragrance has a beautiful scent profile. Any age group could rock it. It's versatile. The only thing I would say is don't try to rock this formally. Let this be something you wear uh, um, casually, semi-casual, uh, like I'm dressed today with a t-shirt, you know, some warm-ups and flip-flops. You could dress it down, up, and around, however you choose. I'm trying to tell you, this stuff smells so good. Now, I didn't believe when I first saw this for it. Y'all know how long I had this? I've had this fragrance for a very long time and I never got into it, okay? It even gives you uh, nuances of other fragrances that you may know about. Uh, Blue de Chanel, you can even pick that up in it. It has a gourmand vibe to it, but not the kind of gourmand where it's it, it leans like, a, a, like a, man, I can't even think of, like a, by the fireplace or, or a, What's something good? Like a single malt. It's nothing gourmandish like that. I don't know where my head at today. I can't think of no gourmand fragrances, as many as I have. Um, but it's not. It's not like a dessert kind of gourmand. It has the the, the coconut and the lime, the ylang ylang and jasmine, but that brown sugar. It has a sugary vibe. Okay, not not like pink or blue sugar. Not overly sweet. It gives it kind of a thick like sugar okay not syrupy not not you know it's right in the middle if you know what brown sugar look like clumpy uh but sweet it has a, a kind of a woody woodiness to it from the cedar it's right in the middle and i not saying that this is a wow mind-blowing fragrance but i will tell you what it will surprise you and this is my scent of the day my girl loves it everybody that smelled it so far i've been i've been just letting people catch a whiff of it and i've been getting people to ask me what is it and uh they i've been telling them about this tahitian water man look i hadn't talked about it in none of the english laundries in a while uh, I mentioned it before when I talked about Signature and, and London. Those are some great ones too. But this one here surprised me. And I'm telling you, you owe it to yourself to get your own nose on it. Don't blind buy it if you can. But I'm going to let you in on something. This is blind buy worthy. I can almost guarantee you if you spend the money and go on and purchase it, I guarantee you, you'll like it. If you don't, hit me side to head. All right? Wow, the lime is not overly, it's not overly fruity. It, it's blended very well. Christopher Weeks did a great job, and I think he's the nose behind most of the English laundry fragrances. This is a perfect fragrance for the season. Uh, you got that, uh, uh, there's another fragrance I'm rocking. Um, it, it has a uh, Caribbean type vibe, if you will. So, you know, Tahiti, Tahiti is synonymous for coconuts, okay? So, and I did that in my little research, so it makes sense they put the coconut note 
and, and I guarantee you, you'll like it, all right? It's something that uh, I would say, uh, wear it, see what you think, rock it on a date night, because you can even go date night with this, uh, spring nights, fall nights, you can go um, out to dinner with it, and you're going to smell very good. Tahitian Waters by English Laundry. That's it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the preview and the content. Get your hand on this one. I'm telling you. Get your hand on it. I'm not going to just tell you that. And listen, when have I ever told you anything wrong? Don't let the price tag and let what other previewers say stop you from getting your hand on a very great performing uh, fragrance. All right? So thank you guys so much. I love you. Listen, I thank all of my new subscribers. Y'all, come on. Keep helping me grow. I'm way past the 200 mark now, y'all. Now we aiming at 300. Can we get there? Y'all gonna help me get there. Shout out to my boy, Fat Boy Flat Frag Reviews. Uh, he talk, I talked to him on yesterday, guys. So we'll be getting our Ultra Mall real soon. And I'm definitely gonna do a preview. All right? So getting out of here. I'll see y'all soon for another fragrance preview. Take care, family. Peace out.